an introduction before um, we get started. So welcome guys to today's AMA session and um, um, welcome everyone to today's AMA session. We are having an AMA with um, the Aureus team. Or how should I pronounce the name? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it very well. But it's the Aureus token. Um, it's a gaming platform. And I think I posted um, a review about them saying they are more like a gaming platform that is a play to end token that has evolved to not just being a play to end but also adding DeFi 3.0 concepts to it. And we're having this EMA sessions for us to be able to hear directly from um, he um, from Francis Junior. Francis Junior is actually the blockchain developer and the CTO. Uh, I think they are a team of about five six persons. So I do not, uh, in the in the platform, and um, he's going to be here with us. Going to be asking him some questions, and uh, we are open to. And once he's going to answer these questions, then I'm going to go over to whatsoever questions we have in the community to about their platform, about their project. I want to know what they are building. I want to see if it's something that is um, worth investing, worth throwing our money into. And uh, basically, that is why we're having him here with us. And uh, the team also provided a certain amount of um, rewards to be made available for our community. So these EMS sessions are not like, they aren't, they aren't any form of paid sessions. They are actually sessions that are just being organized for our community members so we can get in touch to hear first and from um, project founders what they are building and see if they have something in common with what you love or what you are expecting. And um, also, um, these teams decide to reward the community with whatever amount of um, tokens or, or funds that they have available for us. And that is basically the reasons for this AMA session. So it's more of a win-win for our community being able to um, get a first-hand, like a, what I call a first-hand form of do your own research, a first-hand form of uh, just so you can hear and be, you can be able to read between the lines of a person's speech and know if it aligns with your spirit, aligns with yourself or not. So um, welcome, um, Francis, to the session. And um, I, I think um, I'm having about five questions which I penned down, which I'm going to be asking you before I go over to taking people's questions about your platform, about your um, gaming project. So I think um, there was a bit while ago, some months ago, and um, it's it's amazing seeing that the Oris Sukum project is still on, is still kicking. But I'm I'm curious. Would love to know what is what is happening with Oris Token right now. What is the next big thing um, to come out of Oris Token? So let us know. Let us know. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you for that question. Well, um, I can say there's a lot of things happening in the background, and. Um, or your token has evolved from being a play to earn uh, token into into a play to earn with DeFi and NFT marketplace. And in the future, we are planning to build a platform where new projects can raise funds for their liquidity, just like Pink Sale or DX Sale. And um, to give peace of mind to those investors, we will be strict when it comes to KYC and um, also, right now, we're still at the early stage of the project and uh, more developments will happen along the way. Huge marketing push and we'll make sure to follow our roadmap schedule. Amazing, amazing. So from what you're saying, there, there's going to be something that like, like a launch pad coming up for Aureus token, right? Exactly, that's correct. Oh, that's the that's whole lot and that, it's, that is amazing, that is amazing. Um, I, I, I do not know if um, is Aureus token currently listed on any centralized exchange about, apart from Unis, uh, from, um, from Pancake Unis. Swap. Is, there, is it listed on any centralized exchange or is there a plan to get listed on any centralized uh, exchange? Yeah. Yes, uh, we are in talks with DigiPhoenix. They approach us and um, we are... We are having talks with them. We are just finalizing some things. And uh, we've come up with an agreement. We're just um, gathering enough funds for the listing fee and the marketing fee. Once once it's paid, we'll surely have a schedule for our first CEX listing. It's DigiPhoenix. I mean, amazing. Yeah, because DigiPhoenix is actually a big exchange. And uh, I was still getting... Uh... 
and list it on digit it's gonna be like a big um a big one for you guys certainly and that's good that's that's like bullish that's very bullish and that is very like amazing amazing i think it's something that uh, one wants to like anticipate for and so um um your your chart has been a bit um low for a while want to know is there any um marketing push or marketing incentive you have um by the way uh, you're planning for your project and um, is there any like big marketing push or agenda you have or currently? agenda you have currently Yes, uh, we have scheduled big marketing push once our mobile game is live. And um, okay. we're, we're planning to do okay. that because mobile games, it's everyone has a mobile phone. So we're, we're looking at a big crowd, at a big audience. So we want to make sure that uh, when we do the big marketing push, it will be the most efficient way. Awesome. Um, awesome. You, 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 I think you guys have a current game on. Is, is the game a web-based game? Is it based on web? PC-based? PC-based? Yeah, currently it's um, only playable on a browser on a PC or Mac. It supports WebGL. And you okay. can farm okay. as much as 100,000 or use tokens with it. And um, of course, before you can play, you're going to need to have an Aureus token NFT, which you can buy from our NFT marketplace, and you can use or use token itself to buy to buy the NFT. Oh wow, wow! So your your marketplace is live right now. Is it on? Uh yes, it is. That's it is, some it is on the website. Progress. Amazing progress. Yeah, you can you can and get there by uh, going to our website and click on the buy NFT button, and it will um, direct you to our NFT marketplace. And the fact of having your um, having the idea of a mobile form of gaming is also like that's also incredible, like really, really incredible because um, everyone has a mobile phone, and I think majority, ninety nine percent of every person connected on this like um, AME right now, I think are connected with their mobile phones. And um, when you have a game whereby you could just easily play with your mobile phone and get rewarded, like I think your your ideology and plan for Orius Tycoon is like it's it's cool. It's something that's it's it's it sounds sweet to my ears actually so um the next question i have is um you know there's a lot of uh momentum happening right now in the sense of uh why the market is going down it's getting so boring um people are diversifying into various networks into various chains whereby they have certain beliefs in that um, when the market begins to pick up they are going to recover from very fast so the question i have is do you guys have a plan of diversifying into it's other blockchains or that networks Yes, we will. Uh, we have plans in um, making token, making Orius token available to other networks. We're planning to build a bridge. Um, this will happen before our launch pad is live. So we'll have a bigger audience, not just on on the Binance Smart Chain. <laughs> This means all this, like all these big ideas, all these amazing ideas. I think they they are on your roadmap, right? Can you hear me? Are all this on your roadmap? Yes, uh, they are. Me? Yeah, are all this on... they are on the roadmap. Okay. Um. Before I go over to taking questions from those who are eager to speak and ask you directly, um, your mobile. I'm I'm so curious about the mobile game. Like I'm I'm excited about that fact, and uh, I think it's something that is going to make me to like buy in personally with just a small amount of money, and uh, want to wait for the game to see how it goes. Uh, um. Be, but the question I have is when when are we expecting your mobile game? When are we expecting it? When are you expected to launch that mobile game? When I <laughs> we have started development of our mobile game. Uh, I can't hear you. Hello, y'all. Type of game. Like... Hello. Okay, we can hear you now. We can hear you. Go ahead. Please. We can hear you now. We can hear you. Yes. Um. Yeah. We have started the uh, development of our mobile game. Um, it will be released roughly within three to six months. And the uh, type of game that we are developing is like a battle royale game, just like PUBG and um, COD Mobile, that type of game. 
Wow, that's that's a huge step. And that's a huge step because we are in the period where there are a lot of gaming platforms right now. And um, there are others we, uh, that are coming up and in process. And um, it's 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 actually a huge step for you saying you want to do that. I'd say come up with that. And uh, I wish success to the team. So I want to go back to those who are having, uh, I'm meeting a couple of persons who might have a question for you to answer. So we have... Um, Francis in Yang or so. I think Francis, I'm gonna meet you so you can ask which I think that should be the person I'm meeting is also I think it should be I just unmuted the person so he can ask. Or why the person is delaying we have um Tony Berari or so. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it well. So Tony, I just allowed you to speak. You can ask Tony, you can, I think you can unmute yourself now and ask a question. I don't know what's wrong. And um, let me unmute someone else. We have um, Roots and we have Fina. So let me unmute Roots. So Roots, you are unmuted. You can actually unmute yourself, uh, permitted you to speak. So you can unmute yourself and ask Hello, Francis yeah. a question. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, good afternoon. Can you hear me? Uh, Hello. We can hear you. We can hear you. We know we're connected from various time frames, so it's... Okay, it's okay, good day. Even where, this is where they are. <laughs> okay, good afternoon from here. Okay, so I want to appreciate you for this uh, project, and um, I know any project that comes from... that is being recommended by Wealth Israel is going to be a very good one. And for that, I'm going to appreciate you first. Then secondly, I want to ask, this was, we've, we've actually had uh, several projects that comes and, you know, this, especially the season that now that, uh, the, now that Bitcoin is really misbehaving, like the market is really bearish. Now, what's, what's, what's the difference? What, what, what do you have for us that's going to really make us feel, feel realized that, okay, well, going, well, we're really, um, we're going to have for as in we're going to enjoy this uh, token. As in what, what do you have for us? Yeah, what's I don't get so I don't understand. It's more like so, what yeah. makes all what makes the Orioles token unique that yeah, is gonna unique, help us yeah, be comfortable you. if yeah, or comfortable you. buying it. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, all right, that's it. Okay, Francis. Yeah, um thank you for your question, Ruth. Um yeah, is uh, is that um we are building an ecosystem, not just a play to earn. And um, we are planning to allocate percentage from the tax into buybacks. So we will do manual buybacks in the future so we can survive this bear market because it's cryptocurrency. We can't avoid bear markets. So we just have to be ready when that happens. And I believe um, having enough funds for buybacks will help us maintain our price, will help us pass through these bear markets. Amazing, amazing. Okay, we have um, Brian, we have... Okay, Brian, I'm unmuting you to ask a question. I just allowed you to speak so you can ask if you... Ask whatever question you have. I think Brian is finding it hard, so... Good day, sir. Okay. Today we can hear you. Your mic is muted, I think. Good day, sir. Good can you day. hear me? We sir? can hear you. Yeah, we can. Oh. Okay. Thank you, sir, for the opportunity. Thank you very much. So my question goes first. On the website, it talks about um investment portfolio. So I want to ask. Do the investors, do they have a say in what project is being you know, invested in? Or is it as a team that decides what projects to invest in? Uh, yes, we'll actually create a, a separate page for our investment por portfolio. So um, investors will be able to see which project we invested in. 
and also it will give investors access to real time profits or earning of the team. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you, Brian. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. We have mice connected here. Mice, I'm allowing you to speak, so you can ask. Mice, you've been allowed to speak, and um, there is no skis away. So, mice, you can speak if you have your question, and uh, no skis away. I think you can also speak if you have a question. They are, uh, I don't know if you have any issues. No. So let me look through. Okay, there is Rafael Ukuma. I just seen Rafael. Can you hear me, Francis? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, um, I can hear you. Hello, can you hear me? Okay, we can hear you now. Go ahead. Okay, um, thank you so much for this opportunity to ask. Okay, going through the roadmap, my first question is the concept of first then first always then profit distribution. I don't know really what, what it means and how the team intends to carry it out. Please can you share more light on it? Thank you. Thank oh yeah. You. Um always then it's the, the investment portfolio of the team. Uh we get the funds from the tax being taken when you buy, sell, or use tokens. Um, 3% from the tax will be transferred to our investment portfolio. And then we invest that funds to projects where we think, um, where, where we think we, we will get profit from it. And once we get the profit, those profits will be divided into, into five parts. 20% for the Aureus token NFT holders to those eligible holders. And we will send this uh, profits each month. And um, I know not all investments are successful. So there are losses, but we have, we have a strategy where we only invest in um, projects with real use case. Most of the investment will go to um, high high valued coins like bitcoin or or ethereum but uh, some of it will be invested in idos in uh, pre-sales private sales tokens with real use case and of course we will make sure to investigate those projects first before we invest in them okay okay um the second question you actually answered is about the mobile making the game a mobile more like on a phone of which you answer so thank you so much for the opportunity sure okay over to you miles over to you miles okay good afternoon i just want to ask i just want to know the reason behind the name of the token or the project everybody has a reason if they give their project or their token a certain name they have a reason behind it so i want to know the reason they have behind it uh yeah well we actually get the name from uh from a, from an old coin used in rome so uh they they called it orius and that's where we get the, the name of Orius token. That's where we uh, get the idea of naming it after after the the old coin from Rome. Okay. Thank you. That is quite amazing. I think um, 
we're going to take just like um i'm going i'm going through uh twitter to see if there's any question there and um Uh, I think there is no question here on Twitter. So, there is no question here on Twitter. Oh, I'm think. Uh, I think there might be one. I'm saying. Okay, I think it's the question you've already answered. So I'm going to just give one more person opportunity to ask and then we are going to wrap up because our EMA sessions are actually um, scheduled for to run for just 30 minutes. So um, who is the next person I'm going to give a chance to ask now? So we have so I, I, I can't pronounce his name but it's Oge something something Oge Chuku Miriam or something like that. So let me so the person can now speak. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Okay, please, I want to ask, um, Jay, this is an, there's an NFT that someone is supposed to hold before the person can play to end, right? Can you hear me? Y yes, we can. I think um, Francis can hear me. Okay, I want okay. to ask. Okay. Okay. Apart from holding the NFT so that the person can play to end, what is the minimum? Is there is the person supposed to hold another quantity of real token before the person can be able to play the game? Uh, yeah. Um, apart from buying the Oreo token NFT, you need to hold at least uh, one million Oreo tokens in your wallet for now. But we will base the the whole the the tokens that you hold on the price of of our token it changes from time to time awesome 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 okay um that's gonna be our last question and um because of time um but before we wrap up today um i want to know francis do you have any last passing words uh last speech you have you want to give the audience uh something you want them to just anything you want us to know about and uh, you an action you want us to take feel free yeah i just want to everyone know that um with orius token you guys are safe um we're one of the legitimate projects out there most of the projects that you see are are scammed or they will rug you, but here you're safe with us. Thank you for this opportunity, Chris. Thank you so much, Francis. Um, it's an amazing, it's an amazing time with you and um, seeing your wisdom and um, how you're being concise and straightforward in answering the questions we are throwing out to you. Both myself and um, those from the community, uh, we look forward to um, your project being an amazing one and uh, something that it's um, quite awesome. I, I know there could be some of you who have some pending questions, some pending reservations uh, with um, the ORS Tukum project. Um, so what you simply got is going to do is join the join the rs um, telegram group if you are not here the part of your telegram group i think i just uh, posted it on the channel and so you can join and uh, you can follow up uh, with them asking them whatever form of questions you have whatever reservations you have and uh, follow up with them but um, the theme is doxed and um, it's a pleasure having them with us and um, the plans, the ideas, everything they have stated um, on their roadmap sounds incredible, sounds amazing. And uh, we hope they are able to meet up each of those things because it will end up being rewarding for each and every one of us. So this session was actually recorded and uh, will be uploaded on our channel, YouTube channel, when we start up our new YouTube channel, possibly maybe tomorrow or uh, later today as well. So people can actually go and watch the recorded session listening to the questions being asked and the answers being given in case you joined late and you were not able to hear um, some of the things that should have been stated earlier on when we began 
around uh, 27 minutes ago. So amazing. Thank you so much, Francis. Thank you, everyone, for joining. And we're going to be having more of the sessions. We have about one or two other AMS scheduled for later part of this week. And information will be posted ahead of time. And uh, the dates and the days and of those schedules we have. And join the RS token um, Telegram group and familiarize yourself with the project and see if it's something that goes well with you, something you are um, fun with, something you are you would love to be a part of and explore the opportunities available for you guys. Okay, guys. Bye for now, everyone. And um, the RS token gave us about um, 400 USD. They gave us about 400 USD, so 200 BUSD and 200 dollars worth of their tokens. So I'm going to be picking a couple of winners from those who asked questions and from the Twitter page as well and from the first Elliot Hawks on Telegram here. So um, we're going to pick about five or six winners and uh, we're going to be sharing the prize to each and every one of you as well. So if you do not get a prize right now in today's session, don't worry, we have another AMA coming up and you should get a prize in the next AMA coming up. So you just want to stay posted to the space and to the community and what we are doing and came here, get uh, more insights on this project and see which one you want to put your money in, which one you want to trade your funds in So as well. And Aurea sounds so amazing. Thank you so much, Francis, for coming out and um, sharing with us um, your vision, sharing with us what your platform is all about and what Aurea's talk is all about so we have a more um, elaborate understanding and a concise information gathered from you regarding what you're building, what is already life and um, how it could benefit us as um, participants or prospective investors in your platform. Bye for now, guys. And wherever you're connected from, uh, whatever it's morning, noon, evening, whatever time it is in whatever part of the world you're connected from, I want to say um, a big well done and happy day, or should I say happy new day for everyone of you connected. Bye for now, everyone, and have a blessed day.